They become so professional that like people with a fire in their belly but not a piece of paper on the wall couldn't get a job with them. Just watch it. Watch it, people of God. And, of course, with the professionalism came public performance. Now, Grubby's not a public speaker. We didn't sit down and talk about it before he came up here. I was trained by evangelists where you only have people that are slick and got it together. You have a song leader that knows what he's doing. You only get someone to give a testimony if they've been trained in knowing how to do it and they'll stick to the time, stick to the point and get through it. I'm putting up our guys who've never been given any fair training about that at all. Taking a risk. I don't have a clue what he's going to say. Not a clue. I know the man. I know his heart. I know it's right for me to put him up here because I know... He has got a weeping heart for those that are broken and lost. I know he's come a hard track through. I know he's a genuine man whose faith is genuine. And I know he works hard for the kingdom of God. So I put him up here. But it makes our service late or it means I've got to finish now after giving you my introduction. I actually know of someone that's a very, very fine musician who offered to be part of the worship band of a certain very large, uh, charismatic-type uh, big church which shall not be named. And they were turned down because they were overweight and didn't look slick enough, despite musical gifts, so they couldn't be in the worship band. I'm sick of watching worship bands all around the world following that model from, from Sydney. I'm sick of it. We're only sexy You know when little... the Pentecostal movement began, you know what it began with? a bunch of white trash and black riffraff who crossed the tribal lines where no one else would, were filled with the Holy Spirit and didn't have a time on their meetings, just stayed up all night. In those days, Pentecostals didn't have praise sessions well-crafted for a television show. They had tarrying meetings where you stayed up all night and you groaned and cried out to God till the Spirit fell. 